the Wild Rose online yoga class. My name is Louis Bloom with Optima Living. I have the privilege of introducing to you today, Erin Keith. Erin's experience with yoga spans decades in areas across the globe and with all ages. Erin's goal for these monthly online yoga sessions in which we discuss the benefits of yoga is to create a community that is supportive. As Erin says, there is nothing more sacred than the company you keep. For your viewing pleasure, I present to you Erin Keith. Uh, thank you, Lou. All right, good morning, everybody. <laughs> and welcome to our Wild Rose Yoga class. Nice to have you here. Now, before we get started, I want to make sure, does everyone have a chair with no arms? No arms. You guys have arms on your chair, Dad and Doreen? Perfect. All right, we're gonna do a few few new uh, postures today. So before we get started, just make sure that you're sitting away from the back of your chair. Place your hands on your knees and then lift your spine up nice and tall. Kind of wiggle in your seat a little bit just to feel your weight shifting from one side of your hips to the other. And then I'd ask you to close your eyes. Now, if you don't wanna close your eyes, you can just look down and soften your gaze. So you've got like a gentle focus. Now I want you to start to focus on your breathing. First of all, try to relax your belly. So you feel gonna drop outwards. And then we're gonna slowly inhale through the nose, feeling the belly expand. Hold your breath at the top just for a moment. Feel that fullness and then slowly exhale. Now as you exhale, Feel the belly draw back inwards towards the spine. Again, as you inhale, relax the belly. Try to fill a little bit more of the lungs, feeling them fill all the way to the very top, holding again. And then exhale, slowly out, complete exhale. Feel that little tug of the belly backwards. Then relax the belly, slowly inhale. Feel that expansion a little bit more full, maybe into the back side of the lungs now. Holding for a moment. And then exhale. Feel the shoulders drop down, the chest drop in, the navel pull back. Relax the belly as you inhale. Feel that expansion, maybe a little bit more full, maybe the shoulders widening, collarbones expanding. Holding for a moment and then slowly exhale. Let's do a couple more breaths. Following the breath in and all the way out. Let's do one more deep breath together. And complete exhale. Good, you can slowly open your eyes. We'll bring our hands together, palm to palm. Do a little namaste. Namaste everyone, thank you for joining me. Good. From here we're just gonna interlace our fingers and then press the palms away from you. As you inhale, draw the elbows back so the knuckles come towards the heart. Exhale, push away. Inhale. Exhale. Keep moving with the breath. Exhale. One more time. And exhale. We're gonna turn the hands and switch the fingers. We're just gonna slide them down one finger. So just the alternate grip and then press away, exhale the breath out. As you inhale, elbows back, chest lifts. Exhale, push away, breathe in and out. 
Breathe in and out. We're gonna do one more time, breathing in and all the way out. Good, you can just flip the hands around and give your hands a little shake, shake, shake. Shaking at the wrist. Imagine like you've got water on your hands and you're gonna flick it at someone. Flick, flick, flick. Yeah, flick, flick, flick. Good. And shake, shake, shake. We're gonna do a thumb release. I've just learned this recently. So you're gonna take one hand in a fist with your thumb sticking out. Yeah, thumbs up. How are you guys doing? Awesome. Hold your thumb like it's a joystick. You know, I'm not sure you play video games, but and we're just gonna do a little circle, a clockwise circle, just gentle. Feel the stretch of the thumb, keep the other hand, yeah, part of the hand in a fist. Good. We're gonna change direction, so go back the other way. That's really good if you work with your hands a lot or spend some time on a keyboard. Good. Now release that hand, then give that hand a little shake, 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 and we'll switch sides. So, still doing okay? Thumbs up. All right, hold your thumb. Let's do some clockwise circles. And around and around, and then we're gonna switch directions. So go counterclockwise, the other way. And around, and release and shake, 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 shake. Good. Place your hands on your knees. Make sure you're sitting away from the back of the chair. We'll do our cat cow. So first of all, I want you to bring your chest up. Roll your shoulders back. Now you can even slide your hands back to kind of tuck the shoulder blades together. And then look up as you inhale. Now as you exhale, reach your hands to your knees, pull the spine back and look down. Relax the head. Now inhale, arch in the back. Look up and exhale round. If you have any back issues, you don't have to round deeply. Just looking down works. Inhale, lift up. And exhale round. Nice deep breaths. Just waking up the full spine, <sighs> encouraging for greater lung capacity. So you wanna really exhale the breath out, squeeze the navel back. Let's do three more. And exhale. And two. And exhale. One last time, big breath in and all the way out. Good, we'll come back up into a nice tall seat and we're gonna open up the feet. Keeping your hands on your knees, we're gonna start by leaning forward and then we're gonna circle around and back and to the other side and forward. So good. If you're working right side by side with someone you want to coordinate. <laughs> good. Around and around. Imagine like your spine is a skipping rope. You want the center part really making the biggest. Good. Get your shoulders involved. You can dip them in. Round and round. We're going to do two more full circles. And one more full circle. Good. And we're going to pause and we'll change direction. So coming back to the front and then go the other direction. Good. You can always use your breath in coordination with your movements. So the inhales will be forward and the exhales will be when you go back. Let's do two more nice big circles around. Just going to wake up the hips and you can come back and we'll come into a nice tall seat. Okay. When you come back to your center point, you'll walk your feet in. We're going to do some neck rolls. So keep the spine lifting tall, just drop the chin down. And a gentle roll from side to side with your head.
Try to keep your chest lifted. Just the head is heavy. Shoulders stay away from your ears. Do a couple more times. If you have this little sticky spot or stiff neck, you can always take a little extra time or maybe move a little slower. Eventually, you're just going to make your way back down into the center. So your chest, your chin is in front of your chest. And then we're just going to look straight ahead. So sitting tall, I just want you to look over one shoulder. Just hold it there. Take a couple of breaths. Try to turn your eyes into the corner. Look, look around as far as you can behind you. Your shoulders staying square to the front. One more breath. Slowly release, and we're going to change sides. Look over the opposite shoulder, and once again, turn your eyes into the far corners. A couple deep breaths. Good. And then I want you just to gently go back and forth. So back over the first shoulder, and then over the second. Just back and forth a couple times. Make sure that you're not holding that tension line in your neck. Do one more time to each side. Good. And then slowly look straight ahead. All right. Get a little energy in the body. We're going to raise the arms up so you can bring them as high as you're able. So we call this arms breathing. This is going to be an inhale. Now as we exhale, we go... Exhale. Good. Inhale. Exhale. All right, we're a little quicker. It's okay if you don't have it at the same time as me. Just focus on your rhythm. Inhale. Exhale. Exhale. Nice strong exhales. Every time we reach up, we're expanding the lungs, trying to bring more breath in. Good cleansing for the lungs. You need a sharp exhale. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Now we just lift the shoulders up, squeeze them up towards the ears, roll them back behind you and down. Let's do that three times. Up, back, and down. Last time, squeezing up, back, and down. Good job. Okay. So where you are, we're going to sit back a little bit. And we're going to lift the knees up one at a time. Lift the knees up. So if you need support, you can lean into the back of your chair. This is going to support your back if you have any sensitivity in your back. Or if you want to work a bit more of your core strength, you stay away from the back of your chair and lift. Now, if you're wondering what to do with your hands, <laughs> you can touch the opposite knee as it lifts. Good. So just find a nice steady pace. That's it. Knees up nice and high if you can. Keeping the tummies tucked in. Good. Keep going. Looks good. Last three on each side, this is two, and last one, and good, <laughs> awesome. Okay, we're gonna open the hips a little bit. So, so where you are, you wanna sit a little bit forward in your chair, but nice and stable. We're gonna open up the feet wide. So make sure you're comfortable in the chair. Hands will be on your knees. And then we're going to lean forward. So as you bring your chest forward, keep the spine straight and your tailbone reach out behind you. Not too far down because we're going to get the shoulders involved. So hands, press the knees apart. And then we're going to dip one shoulder and then the other. 
So you just do your hand to press the knee, and we're just going to dip, dip. Kind of like a slow motion shimmy. For those of you familiar with the jazz terminology. Get the shoulders, you're gonna feel a nice rotation in your spine. So dip one shoulder as you press the knee away and then switch. If you feel good rotation, and especially where your rib cage meets the spine in the back, bring it nice and mobile. A couple more times. Good. And then come back to center, just give your knees a press as you lean your chest forward. So opening up the inner groins, inner thighs, and then slowly we'll come up. Okay, so we're gonna walk the feet in. We're gonna come into a, a variation of a warrior two. So you're gonna slide back in your chair and we're gonna walk around. So both knees are pointing to one side. You're going to keep the back leg there, and now you're going to open your legs. Now, maybe some of you moderately. Eventually, we're going to try to take this leg all the way back and extend it. So the front thigh is going to be resting on the seat of your chair. But again, it can be on any angle, as long as you're feeling stable here. Trying to line up your heels eventually in one line. And then we're going to raise the arms up, so warrior two. Yeah, and you can give her a massage on the shoulder if you can reach it. <laughs> so stretch your arms now, look forward towards where the bent knee is, that finger, those, that hand. Now from here, we're gonna just gonna rotate the arms so your palms face up. Now with an inhale, we're gonna slowly raise the hands up, try to bring the hands right over the shoulders. And then exhale, we're gonna lower them back down to shoulder height. Bellies come in. Inhale, raise your arms up. Exhale, halfway down, shoulder height. And let's do one final time. Lift the arms and then halfway down. You can turn the palms to face down. And now we're gonna do a little variation here. You can rest your forearm on the bent knee. Now the other arm, you can take it straight up or for more of a side stretch, reach it across your knee. Good, nice deep breaths here. Try to keep pressing out through the straight leg foot, pushing through that outer edge of the foot. Now see if you can take your top shoulder back a little bit and we'll take two more breaths. Good. So first we're gonna raise that lifted arm back up. Good, and you can take it away through the chair. We're gonna just walk that extended leg back, back to meet it. And then we're gonna walk our feet around to the other side. So these are pointing in the opposite direction. We'll do the same thing. So make sure that your thighs are on the chair seat. And then you're gonna take that front leg back, back to whatever angle. It can be at 60 degrees or 180 degrees, depending on how you're feeling this morning. Good, so once you've got your hips nice and open to the front, we're gonna raise the arm. Great, wanna make sure that your shoulders sit right over the hips and your back leg, if you can, nice and straight. Turning the palms to face up. Once again, we'll inhale, reach up. And exhale, halfway down. Breathe in as you raise the arms. Breathe out. Let's do one more time. Inhale, lift. And exhale. Good, you can turn the palms to face down and we'll do the extended side angle. So forearm on the knee and then slowly make your way up and maybe across with the top arm. Keep reaching so you feel that nice, long, straight line down the side of your body. Try to keep your top shoulder open. Chin lifted, chest lifted. 
Let's take one more deep breath here. And then with the top arm, you're gonna come back up, lift. And then we'll make our way out of the pose, just slowly walking. Now you're gonna bring both knees to the front. Get your nice. Good job. Okay, so moving into a twist now, feet together, knees together. Nice tall spine. I like to raise the arms up so the sides of the body stretch. Good, and from here we're gonna turn, lower one hand to your knees, your other hand can reach around the chair or maybe hooks around the back of the chair. I want you to breathe here, focus on your breath. Relax your stomach. So once again, as you inhale, Feel that expansion through the belly, through the chest. Exhale, you're turning maybe a little bit more. Nice to close your eyes here if you feel comfortable with that. To really experience the sensation of the breath as it moves through your body in the posture. Finding all the spaces that can expand into. Also be aware of where you feel restricted. Two more deep breaths. One more. Good, you can just release the arms. As we spin back to center, we're gonna take another inhale and reach up, stretch out the sides and then we'll change directions. So you're gonna hook your arm, Hold on to your knee, look around behind you the other way. Find your breath once again, moving deep into your belly. I always like to visualize like a corkscrew or a spiraled staircase, lifting up and turning. So the breath in helps to create more space by lengthening the spine. Every exhale, and turn, perhaps just a little further inward. Take two more breaths here. Feet and knees facing inward. One more breath. Good. We'll release the arms, come back to center. Let's do a stretch up with the arms. Then just big circle around. Nice job. Do it again. Feels good, let's do it. <laughs> and around. Let's do a few more here. Breathe in. These are what they call sun breaths. So you wanna do it, wake up and see the sunshine. Fortunately, not in Edmonton today. We got a dark and rainy day here. Let's do one more time. Good. All right, we're gonna get a little bit of a hip stretch now. So sliding a little forward in the chair and we're gonna lean back. From here, I want you to hook your fingers, interlace them around the knee and we're gonna give the knee a squeeze in towards the shoulder. Make sure that your shoulders stay down. Now squeeze and hug it there. You feel compression in your hip socket. It's also good for your digestive system. Make sure that you breathe into your belly so it'll act like an internal massage. Good, take one more breath. Good, so we're gonna slowly take the knee away from us and now ch change the grip underneath the leg. And we're gonna extend through the heels, kicking forward. Now you might need to keep it low. Yeah, do it a few times. You're just gonna release the knee, bend the knee, kick, bend the knee, kick. Good, keep flexing the toes back towards you. Three, almost there, two, the last time we're gonna extend it and hold it. Five, four, three, two, and one. Bend the knee, release the leg down. Good. 
Other side, we'll lace the fingers around the other knee. Give it a squeeze and hold it. Relax the shoulders. Once again, remember to breathe into your bellies. Yeah, take one more breath up here. Yeah, so you can release the knee a little bit, switch your grip under the leg, start to move the knee a little, extend through the heel, seize into it, see how your leg is responding this morning. We're gonna do three more. Hold, release. Last two. Last time, you can lift and hold it. Five, hold the toes back. Four, three, two, lift the higher and relax. Good, bring your legs. Okay, we're gonna scoot back a little bit. We're just gonna do a little ankle release here. So you can keep your thighs on the chair. Just gonna kick one leg forward and we're gonna point and flex the foot. Point and flex. And then we're gonna draw a big circle with the big toe around in one direction. And then we're gonna change direction, so other way. Round and around. And then we can release that foot to the ground. Other side, extend your leg forward and we're gonna point and flex the foot first. Back and forth. And then circle, big toe circle. And we'll change directions, go the other way. And we'll release the foot to the ground. And we're just gonna do a little kind of toe tap, stomp on the floor. We don't have any, neither we have downstairs neighbors, so that's okay. <laughs> okay. I'd like to do a forward bend. We're going to relaxation. So I like to come a little bit forward in my chair so I've got space and open up the feet a little bit so you can kind of fold more into the leg. You can take your hands on your knees to begin. Lift your chest up. Inhale. And then lean forward. As you lean forward, maybe you might rest your elbows on your knees. Now, even if you stay here, this is gonna be beneficial if you relax your head. Let the weight of your head be just drawn downwards with the force of gravity. You don't have to push or force. All you have to do is relax. If it feels comfortable here, maybe your hands slide down towards your ankles or feet. Your upper body might fold a little further into your legs. You need to continually relax your head. Now it helps if you can relax your facial expression, relax your tongue, feel your lips move away from the teeth, your eyelids move away from the eyes, forehead, just naturally drawing up towards the hairline. Now as you breathe, focus on your breath moving into the back, down through the waistline, under the rib cage, between your shoulder blades. Feel that nice big expansion as you breathe in and then sinking a little deeper into the pose as you breathe out. This naturally relax your heart muscle as the blood flows to the brain without the force of the heart. Nice way to soothe your nervous system. And when we bring our head below the heart, we naturally help to balance our sleeping and waking cycle by releasing the serotonin and melatonin into the blood. Let's take three more breaths here. One last deep breath in and out. And then very slowly, you might walk your elbows to your knees, but keep your head heavy. Enjoy your breath there midway. 
And then slowly you can walk your hands to your knees and then gently press yourself up into a seated position. We don't want to come up too fast ever from a forward bend as the blood can circulate quickly and we get really dizzy. So we just slowly, slowly, we're going to make our way back into our chairs. So one very beneficial breathing technique that we're going to do today, it's called the Brahmari breath. Some of you might have done it before. So it's the honeybee. So we make the humming sound. What this does is help to really regulate the breath out. It creates a vibration through the sound, which helps to relax our nervous system, among many others. <clears throat> For what I, how I feel is when we make the sound, it's what our body naturally makes when we're happy, or if we're enjoying a really delicious dish that someone made for you, mmm, so good. It's what your body wants to say, mmm, I love this. So we're creating this, this sound, our body responds in the same way. It's a nice feel good. So let's do it together. If you want, you can close your eyes. You might want to moisten your mouth, swallowing, lick your lips. Let your breath just exhale naturally, it's not a test or contest who gets the longest, just until it's comfortable. So let's everyone take a deep breath in to begin. And then a Another inhale. One last time. Return to your relaxed breath. Soften into your belly. Let the muscles just start to release the grip on your bones. Adjust your seat if you need, your clothing if it's tight or tangled anywhere. I'm just going to sit here for a few moments together. Notice the feeling in your body. Notice the state of your mind. Just relaxing and enjoying exactly where you are because it is it exactly where you're supposed to be right now. Let's just take one more breath here. And then slowly we can open up our eyes. We'll take our hands together one last time, palm to palm, honoring the divine within yourself as we honor the divine within all of those around us. Namaste. Thank you for joining me. Come back and join me on June 8th is our next session. I will probably send out a reminder to everyone. Other than that, have a wonderful Tuesday.